Oh my goodness. Good morning, or it's morning right now as I'm filming this. Today is an exciting day in our house. She's like, who are you talking to? Today is an exciting day in our house because we are decorating for Christmas. We've, we're a few days behind as I'm filming as this. It's like December 3rd or so, and I would have preferred to have the tree up by Thanksgiving, but life had different plans this year. So we're gonna get everything decorated today. Wear our matching PJs. Oh, hey, Coco. I love decorating in our matching PJs and just staying at home all day long. Jordan is also very excited to have a day to just stay at home all day and do nothing. We had quite a social day yesterday and that was like my jam and today is his jam, keeping it close to home. So, I'm super excited. Come join us. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times look at arno the star listen look at this Decorated by the boys. Especially the finale at the bottom. Come on. We're gonna dance, dance, have a good time, dance, dance, all night long. We're gonna dance, dance, and have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. All right, so we have. Today's day two. I told Jordan that whenever we decorate for the holidays, it always takes like two to three days because the kids <laughs> interrupt us. We have a million things going on. So today's day two and we're about to go get Christian from school. I have like five minutes to sit down and actually chat with you guys and show you a couple things I picked up. Jordan's upstairs with the babies and then we're gonna go get the boys and then Christian actually has some soccer tryouts after school today so it's gonna be a big day. We're super excited for it. But before we get into all that, I thought along the theme of the holidays and decorating for the holidays, getting in the spirit for Christmas, I would share with you guys some gift ideas. I have gotten a bunch of great things at Walmart recently for the boys. This portion of the video is sponsored by Walmart, so thank you to them for that. You guys have seen me work with them in the past though because they are seriously like a go-to for us for so many, so many different things. I get toys there for the boys, we get housewares there. You can get great clothes, baby items, like their prices are super affordable um, and they have a variety, a huge assortment of every category, especially for the holidays and gifting needs, they have a ton. When I went in stores to pick up some of these items because you can do curbside pickup with Walmart, which I love. If you can't get an item delivered to you quickly, you can just do curbside pickup and pull right up in your car and grab it. So I was there doing that but I ran inside to look around a little bit as well and I saw that they had such an assortment of gingerbread houses too like really cute themed ones so you could always give that as a gift to somebody or that's a fun activity to do with the kids too I love doing gingerbread houses with them it's usually a mess but if the gingerbread house is themed and cute then it makes it a little more fun anyway so I got a bunch of stuff at Walmart that I thought I would show you and I tried to stick with the theme of stocking stuffers because I feel like that's what I always struggle with every year it's kind of hard to come up with stocking stuffer ideas for me that's not just like a ton of candy my kids do not do well with sugar I add a little bit of that obviously in but I tried to stick with mainly toys and things that they're actually going to play with I will have all of the links for all of this link down in the description box. And like I said, you can find everything at Walmart, but links will be there for you guys as well. So first and foremost, Hot Wheels. I have found that kids love Hot Wheels. Genius, right? Who knew? No, but I feel like the boys go crazy over Hot Wheels cars. It's just such a simple, easy thing. 
and they obviously will fit in a stocking very easily take up all those little nooks and crannies this is a set of eight so each boy can get four but we are also hosting the cousins this year for christmas so i'll probably pop a couple of these in the cousin's stockings too it's just like a super easy thing so when you get a multi-pack like this it takes care of multiple kids at once which is huge okay next up i know i just said that i was going with a stocking stuffer theme but i saw this toy at walmart and i had to get this for arlo I have also had some of you guys recently asking me for gift ideas, so I hope this sort of serves as that too. But this, along the same lines, I mentioned that kids love Hot Wheels. Oh my goodness, a Barbie monster truck Hot Wheels toy. Like this, this just has like everything all in one. It's one of those remote control toys, but it's Barbie themed and it's a Hot Wheels truck. My boys are obsessed with the Barbie movie. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw our Ken themed Halloween costume. I'm also planning a Barbie themed birthday party for Arlo. It's actually gonna be a Mojo Dojo Casa House birthday party. I will bring you along on the journey of that. But he loves the Barbie movie. He loves Barbie, Ken, all of that. He's gonna freak out. This toy is just so cool. I have not seen this anywhere else and it was super affordable. So I'll link that down below too if you are on the hunt for anything like that. It won't fit in a stocking, but he's gonna be super pumped. What will fit in a stocking though, and is just sort of like a no-brainer stocking idea, stocking stuffer idea for me, are Pokemon cards. My boys are obsessed with Pokemon right now. They have a Pokemon advent calendar. They have multiple binders. It's this whole world that has been new and introduced to us thanks to elementary school. So I was like, you know what? What better to put in their stocking than Pokemon cards. This is like a multi-pack thing. So again, we can divvy it up across kids and it's super easy to just put in there. They freak out anytime they get new Pokemon cards. This is another one for Arlo. So the boys loved the Mario movie. We also did a Mario themed Halloween costume for our family costume this year. Soleil had a little toad helmet that we DIY'd. Oh, so cute. But anyways, so this is like a little racer car that also comes with the Mario figure. They have several of them from this line, but Arlo loves Mario. Um, and this was another one that was super affordable at Walmart. And because it's so tiny, it will fit in the stocking just perfect. I love stuff like this. Just take it out of the packaging so it's ready to play with as soon as they get it out of the stocking. And it's super easy for you as a parent and for the kids. They get really excited about it. Ken dolls, like I said, they're obsessed. Surfer Ken, they love, my boys love to pretend like they're surfing on things. They love how Ken does beach and that's his job. Basically what we do as well. <laughs> um, so I found these Surfer Kens at Walmart. They also have a bunch of Barbies at Walmart. He even has a dog just like us. They're gonna be amazed with this. So I was originally going to take these out of the packaging and put the Kens in their stockings. I still might do that, but We'll see if the stocking gets kind of full on its own. I might just wrap these packages for them, but you could always do that as a stocking stuffer too. Like take the Barbie actually out of the box and put the Barbie because I mean, it would fit in here perfectly. You know, I hear Lola babbling upstairs. So that means my time is limited. Another Mario toy is this Princess Peach toy. These little figurines. I think I actually, yeah, I actually got a Mario one too. So Arlo loves Princess Peach. So I might put Peach in Arlo's and give Mario to Christian. It's really cute. Arlo actually calls me Princess Peach now and he'll greet me like that after Halloween. It's so precious. But yeah, these little figurines, kind of like Barbie dolls, like they'll just fit in the stocking really easily. They had a bunch of Mario toys at Walmart. I know we are not alone in the Mario enjoyment because at Halloween, there were so many Mario and Luigi's and so many family Mario costumes. So if you have Mario obsessed kids, go to Walmart. They've got a ton of options. Okay, Arlo also loves Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, big hit. Um, they, have, they have a line with these little figurines. So, Again, just an easy thing to throw in there. Any like figurine, anything like that is a good stocking stuffer. I actually got two of them because the boys will fight over these if they don't each get one, so. Okay, and then this is a Pop It Go light up game. So it looks like it might need batteries. Oh, look at that. 
So this again will come out of the packaging if you have any like, <laughs> any kids who love pop, those little popper things. Easy peasy, this also would be great for car rides, road trips, plane rides, anything like that. Okay, and then couldn't forget the stockings. So I also got these super cute stockings at Walmart. They have a bunch of options for like outdoor decor, wrapping paper, stockings, all of that. They had some really cute plaid ones, but of course I went with the neutrals. I just know that I'll never get sick of these. We can use them year after year and they were again, super affordable. So I'll link these down below as well. Like I mentioned, I will have all of these things linked down below. I hope it gave you some ideas. Also, if you do Elf on the Shelf, we do Elf on the Shelf. We actually have a couple different elves. I've been getting like all the Elf on the Shelf accessories this year because they're just so fun. And our boys, we do it like not by the book, but the boys will play with the elves during the day and then they hide at night or whatever. We're not super strict with it, but Walmart has like all of the Elf on the Shelf accessories too if you're looking for fun ideas and creative things to do with your elf this season. So again, I'll have every Everything linked down in the description box down below. Thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this part of the video and let's get on with our decorating. We've been spending the last like week or so decorating. So, but I think all the finishing touches are put on it. I'll probably just keep adding things all of December to be honest, but I thought I would wrap up the vlog. We are actually getting ready to head out and go to like a Christmas light boat parade for the evening. They do it locally and like everybody who owns boats at the Harbor will decorate them with Christmas lights and have Santas on them. It's super cute. And last year the boys were convinced that Santa does not ride a sleigh. He actually takes his boat from state to state to drop off presents. It was an adorable concept. Santa is living a good life. I just filmed a reel today for Instagram with these like personalized presents. And so I thought I would give them a shout out if you guys are in the market for something like that. Not personalized presents, but personalized wrapping paper. It's this company, Paper Bloom. They did send me these, there's my caveat, but they have such cute personalized wrapping paper and I have a link that I think will save you a little bit if you're interested, but I even got some for the cousins and then I'm just gonna send this home with family so that we can wrap Christmas gifts and have everything like organized. I got some for the girls and even like birthday wrapping paper too. Then you don't have to put tags on the end, but it's also like really fun, especially when the kids start to recognize their names. So, <laughs> hey girl. So yeah, we have all of these. You can even do um, like pictures. <laughs> 
in the wrapping paper if you want to. I just think that's like the cutest idea. So, so I added our holiday photos to this one for like the grandparents and stuff. I just think that's the cutest idea. So I'll have the information in the description box if you're interested in that too. Also, real quick before I go, I wanted to mention I have decided I'm officially finally going to launch my newsletter, my weekly newsletter in the new year. I was looking at the calendar and New Year's Day is on a Monday, so I feel like that's the perfect time to have a fresh start. Sorry, I'm just like so disheveled right now, but super excited putting it together. I wanna enter the new year feeling like very motivated and inspired and wanna be able to bring that to other people as well, so. I'll have the link in the description if you would like to sign up for that. It'll be a weekly newsletter coming out every Monday with like some of my favorite things, some updates, things I'm loving, life hacks, any of that. Like basically just a quick check-in point where you know you don't have to wait so long to hear from me and then it has like everything all in one place for you as well. So I'm super excited for it. I think that'll be a great time to launch it and lots of updates to come. So that'll wrap up the vlog. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.